Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for checking out the channel. So on today's episode, we're going to be looking at the Arcade 1UP Infinity Game Table. This is the 32-inch model. It does come in two variants. There's a 24-inch model as well as a 32-inch model. If this is a product that you're interested in, we can kick it right off the bat and say, hey, if you want to get one of these, you want, you want to get the 32-inch model, and we'll kind of show you why as we go through the review. Now, I have had this product for about two months. The reason why I sat on my review is because th this product is ever-changing. It's ever-evolving since its initial Kickstarter launch. This product raised well over a million dollars on Kickstarter, and if you're a board game enthusiast, if you're a fan of board games, this kind of product might interest you. But if you're not a fan of playing board games with the wife, the kids, by yourself, etc., well, then guess what? This product's not going to be for you. But let's dive into this particular product. Well, let's talk the build quality of the device. So the device itself weighs a lot. This thing is super heavy. Uh, especially if you get the 32 inch model. You'll notice when you get the 32 inch model, uh, it comes in a giant box and just this top half is super, super heavy. Um, but when it comes to the legs, the legs are like this kind of a cheaper metal legs and all they do is they just snap in. It literally takes you less than a couple of minutes to assemble this product. Um, the build quality on the legs, um, they're, they're strong enough to support it, no issues. They have the cute little gaming table logo right here on them. Whether or not this is gonna match the furniture in your home or your game room, you don't know. It's kind of like a little, I guess, Ikea style table. I don't have that kind of furniture in my home. So it kind of clashes a bit, but also it also kind of blends in nicely here in this living room. One of the pet peeves with this particular product is the fact that you do have to have a cable plugged in for power if you don't have one of the battery packs. A lot of the Kickstarter backers are still waiting on their batteries that were promised to them. Rechargeable batteries, that way they could run this thing without having it plugged in, without having a cord uh, dangling somewhere. Uh, I think they may have just started shipping to Kickstarter backers. I did not participate in the Kickstarter, so I do not have a battery coming. They will be selling the batteries separately as well once those become available in stock. So for right now, one thing that I don't like about it is uh, we do have the cable dangling down, dangling down. And if you have kids, if you have pets, things like that. So for instance, um, you know, you want to have this centered uh, in your living room. And, you know, we have right here, we have this cable coming down. And of course, I have it running under the couch to the outlet behind the couch to the power strip behind the couch. So this is a tripping hazard uh, for, you know, kids, pets, etc., adults, anybody. And it's a little obnoxious and tacky looking. The Arcade 1UP Infinity Game Table does include a high definition touch screen, personalized dynamic zoom viewing, responsive tactile feedback, Wi-Fi connectivity, online play, and an ever expanding selection of downloadable games. And now they finally launched their first ever app store. So all the games that were included with the Kickstarter have pretty much been released to owners. And now new games are being added from third party developers, etc., which you can purchase and download onto the system. So I gotta say, absolutely, as you can see with the 32 inch screen, uh, it takes up a good size footprint with a bezel that's about two inches wide on each side. And of course it does have that attract mode that'll play a bunch of the games. If you don't touch it, that will take up the full screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see with the menu layout, you have the games you've owned and downloaded, games available in the online store that you haven't downloaded yet, whether they're free games included with your purchase, and there's a bunch of them, 30 some games, as well as all the new games now that you can actually buy and download. Now this thing does attract dust and dog hair. We constantly have to clean this thing off in our home. Uh, so if you leave it unattended, it's definitely gonna accumulate that. Now what's really nice is, like look at this, more dog hair just keeps landing on it. But hey, I got three dogs. What's interesting is, uh, you know, because this is a glass top, you're able to clean it without worrying about scratching it. We have had this thing for two months, over two months, and you know, we've dropped and piled and spilt all kinds of stuff on here, and we have not scratched the glass at all yet, which is really, really cool. The only thing we have to do is constantly clean it, uh, but I'm very happy with the build quality of the bezel, of the glass covering the screen. 
Now this entire unit's running off an Android based system. It's essentially just an Android tablet for instance but you know what's cool is when you first uh, connect it you uh, access your Wi-Fi you create your own little ID icon you get to choose the background that you want on the games I like having this little hardwood but you know if you wanted to switch it to I don't know let's just say you wanted to go with bricks and get out of there you'll notice now that the background is bricks so it's got different themes to it which is really really cool I kind of really let's go with this one and as you can see, boom, that looks really, really nice. Uh, so there's all kinds of different backgrounds and things. Um, you're able to uh, pick your avatar. I just went with one of the Hungry Hungry Hippos. They got tons of avatars from all the different games uh, to go with your uh, user, user ID. So for instance, I was the hippo. So now if I wanna be, oh, I don't know, let's just say this dude with a hat, cause I wear a hat all the time, get out of there. You'll see now my avatar is this dude. And then of course, access your Wi-Fi. This is where you can get your, manage your friends list. So what's interesting about the friends list is you actually have to go to like an arcade one up Facebook page or discord channel in order to find other people who own this product to find friends, hey, and play with them. But the whole friends system is a big opportunity for improvement. Even as of today, the product's been out for a few months. You can add friends, you can invite friends and you can play with friends. But when it comes to actually like knowing if another friend is online playing a game or things like that you literally have to call them text them message them facebook them discord them you have to reach out to them in some way uh outside of the device in order to whatchamacallit <laughs> in order to get uh in order to find out and invite them uh, to play a game because you don't know if anyone's online or things like that the whole friend system I think needs to be revamped. Would like them to add like a lobby system, see who's playing games, you know, like, hey, I'm playing Monopoly, but I, I'm looking for people to play with, you know, where you could jump in, make friends with strangers, all that kinds of stuff. That needs to be fixed. And it's got decent little speakers, but as you can see, here's your Monopoly board. As you can see here, it doesn't take up the entire screen. So can you imagine how much smaller this would be on the 30, on the 24 inch? On the 32 inch, it does take up this big of a play field, but on a 24 inch, it would take up a much smaller play field. So again, if you're gonna purchase this product, I would recommend getting the bigger screen. That way some of the game boards are bigger. Now, when you're looking at the uh, kind of the bottom side here, you do have your power button as well as you have your volume toggle. There's a volume toggle right here up and down. You do have USB ports for future uh, capabilities. As of today, these aren't being utilized. So uh, there's no controllers or games that use controllers yet, but I'm assuming we'll eventually be able to plug in controllers and play games on here or who knows what else. And a micro SD card, card slot, which is currently empty. Uh, so that makes me think future game expandability in the future as well. So going through the different games available, obviously here's here's the pro and con with this particular device is we have a lot of games that are classics. You probably have them in your closet today. One advantage of the gaming table is you don't have to clean up or set up pieces, put pieces away, worry about lost pieces, things like that. But then again, nothing beats the real feel of playing board games, right? This is all just digital. Now, they do have a bunch of games. You got Four Picks, Backgammon, Candyland, Checkers, Chess, Chicken Wrangle, Shoots and Ladders, Fling Hoppy, Dots, Dizzy Takes, Connect Four. The Game of Life just came out, which is really fun. Guess Who, Hippos, Mahjong, Memory, Mini Foosball, Monopoly, Operation, Pirate Battle, Puzzle Play, Raceway Grand Prix, Simon, DC Solitaire, which just came out. That's a paid one. Sorry, Space Tennis, just to give you an example. Spider Solitary, Super Word Search, Swish, Halloween Screensavers, Tic-Tac-Toe, Tower Strike, Tower Defense, which just came out, that's a paid game. Trouble, Whack-A-Mole. And when it comes to adding new games, it's real simple. Like for instance, let's say we wanna add Battleship, you just click on it, got your game rules, all the information you need to know about the game, etc. Click on Get to download it, and it downloads. And everything downloads pretty quick. And once you download a game, it ends up in your owned games in alphabetical order. So there's Battleship, which we just played. Now Battleship, some other games like Scrabble, etc. It's really hard to hide your pieces. Like you have to play off the old trust method, the old family trust method. Hey, no peeking while I set up my pieces, etc. 
The Infinity Game Table does come with some plastic things that you can set up to block your pieces, but in all honesty, they're, they're crap and I really don't like them. Best way to go is just say, hey man, turn around while I set up my pieces, as silly as that sounds, right? Now this thing currently retails, if you did not participate in their Kickstarter, this thing retails for $900 at Best Buy and other retailers. Arcade 1UP is not selling this directly yet. I'll have links in the video description below for all the retailers and product information if you are interested in this product. For $900, is it $900 cool? Well, in my opinion, it's not $900 cool. It's definitely a very cool product. It's better than I thought it would be. We have a few issues with some games. We have some input lag on games like Hungry Hungry Hippos, Operation. There's a few games with input lag that can hopefully be fixed with software or firmware updates. But most of the games do run without lag and they run pretty well. And when it comes to the type of games on here, the type of games are a lot of the games that you have in your closet already that you've already probably bought for four to ten dollars at your local Walmart. Hungry Hungry Hippos, Operation, Simon, uh, The Game of Life, all these games, Monopoly, Candyland, Shoots and Ladders, things like that. However, we are living in the modern digital age. So little kids might really enjoy, especially families gathering around this table and playing those games. But when it comes to uh, board game enthusiasts like myself who like, you know, games like Dungeons and Dragons and, you know, games like Hero Quest and, you know, stuff like that. A lot of those type of games aren't on here yet, but we could only hope in the future that we'll see those games on this platform. Also, this is running a very basic Android system that's probably going to be, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably already obsolete. Also, the question r rises of how long will Arcade 1UP support this product and continue to roll out new games, new features, new updates, and things like that. Time will tell. I definitely think that you're taking a risk when purchasing this product. Um, I do think it's a solidly built product, and if you could get, get this thing for, I don't know, 600 bucks or less, I think you'll be getting your money's worth. Currently, it's $900. I would recommend waiting for some kind of sale or something of that nature. But if you really like what you see, go ahead and get your orders in. My opinion, though, is to wait until the price drops on this particular device. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick review. If you did, leave me your comments and feedback below. After the video's over, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.